after buying my mats i gathered everything that i was going to need for the diy then to start off i measured my mats just to get an idea of where i was going to put the fabric then i used this fabric it's actually a piece of a head wrap and it's like a checkered fabric and um, it's really in trend right now as a head wrap it's inspired by the Maasai then I measured it and then I folded it in half I also measured some filing which I was going to use to make it a little bit thicker for some reason I cut like small thin pieces I don't know why I did that but looking back now I should have just cut a piece of filing that was the same size as the fabric that I had cut and then I ironed the little piece of fabric and then I ironed the filing on And then I closed that little gap and I sewed over it on the sewing machine. So now I had to now sew the mats onto the onto the fabric. That's cool. And I used this twine, this clear twine, and I doubled it. And I also used a curved needle. I found it easier to work with the curved needle. Purchase your tracks today. Then I just started sewing around the perimeter or the circumference of the mat just using a simple stitch and then when i got to the end i tied it into a knot and made sure that it was secure
then I took the other mat and then I just sewed it again in the same manner that I sewed the other mat. Starting to look like a basket already. So now I used this belt. I thought it looked nice to use this brown belt that I've had for a long time. And after cutting it, I just put some hot glue onto the ends to seal it and stop it from unraveling. And then I marked the places where I was going to attach the belt. And then at first I sewed it on. And also made sure that I was tying knots. And then for just a little extra embellishment, I decided to make some cover buttons. I made four of these that I was going to put onto the bag where the beds attach just to hide the stitching and the glue and all sorts and just to make it to give it a neater look. glued the cover buttons result and really this bag did not cost me much i know that these bags are in trends right now i actually did not know that there was this trend of basket bags going on until i saw it on tv and i was inspired to do something like this and i just thought i was going to add my own touch at first i thought i was going to put some african print fabric but i just decided to switch it up on this video and use this checkered fabric so that is the result and i hope you guys like this diy thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye